Rose. Hi. Hey, Rose. <laughs> hey, Pat. What's up, Sid? There you go. Hi, Josh. <laughs> Pat, come sit up. Pat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome back. We gotta have Pat Barry here. Mm-hmm. Pat Barry's coming up. Your uh... now. Is there? We were actually just talking about this during the break. Is there? Is there any? Uh, uh, Competition between you two is it difficult when like a, you, it's a it's a husband and wife and right now, you know the wife is a title holder. You guys both <laughs> do or have done the same thing. Um, I think competition makes us stronger. Yeah, competition <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, right. But there's I no jealousy. So. Like when comedians date, there's always that one thing where you're kind of <laughs> happy for each other, but then there's that whole like, right? Like which one of us is really popping off right now? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then there's a, there's a bit gets a bit competitive. Yeah, no, there's not. Nope, roses the shit. You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're just he happy to be here. He gets to sit down and, and just, just a, watch me do I stuff all day. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have to. You That's bring the, the healthiest way to do it, right? It, to it just is. realize, like, no. I mean, he gets to yell at me and just say, "Faster." Harder. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what women usually yell at me, and I can't do it. <laughs> like I'm doing the best I can. I'm sorry. Strike it out. Yeah, it's terrible. That makes you go soft quick. Oh boy, yeah. does it. If, if a woman yells faster, I'm like, you're with the wrong guy. <laughs> you need to find an alpha. You just lose all confidence. I, I thought that was pretty fast. Yeah. I, what do you mean? It's as fast as I can go. My back hurts. I get real defensive. Yeah, that's what I be saying too. Yeah. My aunt died. You know, I come up with excuses. So yeah, it's kind of healthy to not have it, I guess, because with with, with comedy. But the difference is with fighters, like you, you, you know, you're you're fighting and you're not fighting anymore. So it's like it's kind of hard to, you know, if, if you're not actively fighting, it's you know, you're not oh, feeling no, competitive it, about it. No, yeah. it's yeah. terrible. It's it's awful. I want to. People ask me all the time if I'm ever going to fight again. The answer is always going to be yes, as soon as as soon as possible. But do you miss it? Yeah, absolutely. You do every day. What do you miss about it? Just I mean, the, just all of it. Just the whole the, com- the 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 competition, the game, the game of fighting. The game of fighting is is the the part that you miss the most is standing in that arena. Where you did you see the last fight? Yeah, there's just standing in that arena, walking out to that arena to a UFC fight, whether you're the main event or you're the first fight of the night. There's nothing like it. There's nothing there like nothing it. Like I, it. I fought. I fought everywhere, man. There's nothing like walking out to a UFC fight and being in that arena, being in that octagon, matched up with somebody else. There's, there's nothing Having like your it. name across the whole arena. <laughs> oh, you, you actually do look up and take it in a little bit? Sometimes. Uh, there's certain fights where I do and there's certain fights where I don't. I wish I could have gone back to the first uh, you know, when I got the title, I really just take it in for a second. But they rushed us out of there real quick. <laughs> oh, you want to just kind of stand there and soak it in? I mean, oh, well, we... at the time, no, because I was just like, what just happened? Like, <laughs> like I, I, I described it as I felt like I robbed a bank almost at that, that night. Um, and I just wanted to get home just because the whole week in the buildup was crazy. But, um, yeah, you we... know, looking back on it, when, when GSP won the title that night, he was just kind of like in the ring, just like you know, I think just the experience and, you know, being away from the sport for so long that, you know, coming back, maybe he knew to take it in a little bit more. Yeah, right. We, we didn't me, soak we did. it in at all. No. As soon as, the, as soon as the punch landed the first fight, everybody kind of checked out like. Yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just all checked you just out. Kinda, you were a little, little stunned at what yeah. happened, so you just you didn't kind of so stand there So we just wanted to go it. inside and shut the, shut the blinds in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I mean, look, yeah. what are you going to do? I mean, if you would have stood in there an extra minute, okay, but, you know, you went back and right. did it again and you enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. People who enjoy it too much might not do it uh, again and again, you know, because they're just enjoying the moment too much. So you yeah, had right. to win again to enjoy the moment. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have to carry the belt everywhere with you now. That's probably the one annoying thing. It's, not a, it's you know, not a belt, it's a championship. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we have, <laughs> well, well, no, they pin, they pin the belt on you. That's what or they tag. They don't pin the belt on you like it's, like it's your fucking mittens. <laughs> what a non-fighting idiot! Don't they pin the belt on do you? They, do they tape your address to the back of yes, the? Yes, they do. In case you, you lose it. Yeah. We actually thought about having like some suspenders on the belt and just like wearing, wearing it as it? an actual <laughs> belt. <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> have you actually put it on and just walked around and looked at yourself in it, or do you just kind of hold it? Uh, sometimes, yeah, at home. If I'm like, you know, if I'm feeling myself, I'll just like be cleaning the house and I'll be like, you know, I'm gonna. Take the belt out. <laughs> and you just no, put but it on. yeah, we we usually, uh, but most of the time it just stays in the closet. It does. <laughs> yeah. So your visibility is really high now. Is it? Is it? Yeah. It's very different from where you were, like say a year ago or two years ago. Uh, yeah. Is, yeah, it, people, is it comfortable for you? Yeah, because I think the way that I carry myself, I think I uh, try and stay as regular as possible. So you know, people don't um, people treat me regular. As, as as much as possible. I mean, I think that a lot of people are, people have been overall very respectful. There has been a few people where it's like, okay, I'm just trying to like sit in my backyard, man. Like, <laughs> like that's super inappropriate. But like. Wait, what do they do in your backyard? They have people drive by and stop their cars in the middle of the street and run over. 
They, mm-hmm. Like people have been this, knocking this on the door. This happened a couple now. times. Like, yeah. People know where we live. And what mm-hmm. do they say? Holy shit! Is it you? Yeah. Oh, like, is, no. that, is it really? No, you? it's some, someone else. <laughs> oh, right. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is what they always say. Hey, man, I don't mean to bother you. And it's like, you didn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did mean... you do that? <laughs> yeah, they, they, a lot of people say, I don't mean to, and then they wind up doing but it. But you yeah. meant to, though. Yeah. You thought about it. No, but I yeah, no. You. Like, you if I'm, do. I usually yeah. sometimes I'll like run to run to the gym and um, people like stop on the street or like they'll go. honk their, you know, honk their horn and they'll be like, Doug Rose or Chip. Yeah. You know, yeah, like that's cool. Like if you just yeah, quick say public, something, sure. you know, like that's cool, but like. Man, I'm, if I'm just trying to enjoy myself, like not, <laughs> that's not, kind knocking, of a little bit. Knocking on the door is a little, is a little I, that's a lot. So you, knocking at someone's door is psychotic. Yeah, yeah it is. Because you have weird. to Google map it. I didn't mean to bother you, but I put this in my GPS. Of course you did. <laughs> I, I, I hope this isn't yeah. weird, but I found your address and I'm on your doorstep. <laughs> now. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you don't yeah. just luck up on a champion's house. You know right. where you're going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. a, that's very invasive. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, it's been it's been it's been great. It's it has been, been. It's, it's been great to because no one's been. I don't know, Rose, Rose is, a, is a believer that if you put your sunglasses on and you try to get everyone to stay away from you, that's why people start running towards you and just screaming last time. Right. So by, being, by being just Rose and being a, carrying yourself in a normal, just regular way, people are being, they're being very respectful. Like, so when we do walk in places, you can see, you can, you can hear the mic drop, but no one's running over. Like, people are just like, that's the champ right there. Holy shit. Is, they, it, is the know? pressure different? Like, now that there's more expectations on you when you step into the octagon like people expect uh, and more people have higher expectations of you and that goes along with being the champion like um, do you feel that or can you block that out i feel it but i don't let it penetrate my bubble you know because once you first off um i try not to even expect anything myself because i feel like that just sets you up for disappointment in general in life so you shouldn't expect nothing um uh, but also other people's expectations on you man that's like that's even like, to, you know, double worse because it's just uh, people usually what other people think isn't, you know, they're they don't they don't walk in your shoes. So it's it's probably off or it's probably wrong. So I try and try and just um, concern myself with what I think and and um, keep it to that. And then, yeah, I do feel that there's there's more things that can distract you more. The higher up you climb, there's more uh pitfalls and traps and and things that you're like damn why was i even wasting my time thinking about this you know like you kind of catch yourself in little little sneaky uh traps and what's little... a trap what, what would you consider a, a trap or something that you didn't see coming um well for example um wearing your sunglasses at night <laughs> yeah <laughs> that that's a that's a good one um uh yeah definitely you know managing your money well that's an important one but then also like just little things like getting distracted like the, one of the first things that I learned about this last training camp uh, in the beginning of it, there's little ego, like your ego is bigger just because of what you've accomplished. But then you step into the real world and it's like sometimes it don't always translate. And so you kind of just, you know, set yourself up like your ego pulls, like distracts you and pulls you into like dumb things that you, you shouldn't get hey, pulled into. <laughs> talking about the ego, this last training camp started off. Yo, I totally, we had almost forgotten about this. Like this last training camp started off with Rose not feeling too confident in herself. So we spent the first few weeks telling her about how she's the best at everything and recording every practice and letting her see every practice. You're so good at everything. Then it went from not feeling so confident to almost feeling overconfident. Like, yeah, man, I'm the best in the world. So we had to shut that down. Like three (laughs) weeks into it, we're like, okay. No more complimenting Rose. No more telling her that she's the best. In the you world. didn't tell her this though. You just no, talked no, no, among no. each other. The, the three coaches that we all told, we all did that. So we, it kind of like it went from build they act her like up, I don't know about build, this. Build, time build, 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 her up, build her up, and then and then kind of like just just leave it. Like don't let's not tell her how that she's the best. Let's not let's not compliment so much. Well, that went on, and it got like right around to like maybe two weeks before the fight, and Rose was feeling very negative and we totally forgot that we made it a point to make her feel very <laughs> negative like why is she walking around <laughs> no, feeling they're like they're. This? And, then, and then tony remember he's like oh wait a minute that was the plan was to break her down we totally <laughs> forgot that we didn't break so we spent like six weeks going man you're never gonna make it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh one of the one of the first little distractions that my ego almost pulled me into i was uh doing like uh like laps in the there's like this uh 
big long grassy field in our you know behind our house or whatever so, so i was doing laps and like doing sprints or whatever in the grass and there is a and there's a school back there and there's you know kids were at recess so i don't think the like the kids had no idea what i was doing and they were like they were kind of like you i felt like they was making fun of me like look at her how she's running or something like, you know like, <laughs> like kind of mocking me or i was like Ugh. <laughs> and I just like started getting distracted by it. It's like, why am I even concerned with these Bunch stupid kids? kids. Yeah. yeah, they don't. <laughs> of course, they just make fun of anybody that's like not in school. So anyway, but yeah, it's just like little stuff like that. It's like, man, they, little do they know that I'm the champion of the world. <laughs> Isn't it weird though how that, that school yeah. shit just being made fun of by a yeah. bunch of little uh, dickheads? It'll kill you. It'll kill yeah. you. You should have yeah. seen how hard she was running. It's like, hey, what are you? Why are you running so hard? <laughs> trying to impress the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need that. I need that. To believe I'm the champ. They need to believe I'm the champ. But meanwhile, none of that matters because it's going nice shoes, Dick. <laughs> and, you can't, and, and it's it doesn't and matter. You can't win. That's just their nature, right? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy though about the training camps that it's, yeah. it, it, there's that much psychology involved yeah. that you guys become like and therapists. that was one of the first right? lessons so like and there's like little lessons that are being learned throughout the entire training camp and one of the, so i write it on the board like if i you know take a lesson so one of the first things was uh ego ego is a distraction will pull you into dumb shit you know so and then it was for real like just the entire training camp there was little things like that like i'm trying to think of another scenario oh on the, i wish somebody would have like recorded this but remember on the plane uh, oh, man. that was that was pretty bad. So it was a like almost a a reminder to to like bring me back to you know like to humble myself before I got to the fight because I don't know I was feeling pretty like okay about myself and I got on the plane and um I don't know like you tell the story pretty like better but which one the guy no 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 the when they were about to announce like I oh, thought they yeah. were talking so, about uh, me <laughs> we're getting on the plane and uh, we're we're in row oh, like twenty seven twenty seven C or something like that right so we're walking and we're waiting halfway down the plane I'm already sitting down Rose is still standing there and the announcement come on lady says all right we've closed the cabin door yada yada this and that in the back would you like to let everyone know in the back of the plane we've got and she said just like in the back of the plane we've got Rose. And so and I'm paused. like, well, that must, she must be trying to pronounce so, my last yo, name. Rose, or <laughs> hey, Rose turned around. She went, yes, 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 yes it's me. Waving. She says, yo, this, what, like, she, oh. what she says was, she's like, we've got Rose and Kevin service you in the back of the plane. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, and you oh. waved. <laughs> yes, yeah, said, hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know. Oh, no. And that, look, no that's, pictures, please. No pictures. Please. <laughs> that's when you guys are going like, okay, we got to break her down again before this. Uh, <laughs> we got to Yo, we were on the God plane on the it. way. We're on the way to New York, man. She was like, in the back of the plane, we've got Rose, and she froze for like yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, I was like, is she t- at first I took a second, like, well, she must be talking about me. Emma, Emma, Everybody Emma, does that when Emma, they say, try and say my last name. Emma, Rose put her head and she went, oh, oh yeah. yes. <laughs> Shut oh, up. Everyone. We've got Rose and Kevin serving you in the back of the plane. And we went, oh. Is that, is that, 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 that shit? Oh. Hey, everybody, we've got Rose. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, oh, sorry. <laughs> Is there anything better than than fake humility when it's unwarranted? Oh, like, you don't God. need. This isn't about you. <laughs> and the, the flight attendants are probably like, "Why the fuck is that lady waving at everybody? <laughs> She's gonna be a problem." <laughs> I'll take pictures after uh, the fight. Sorry, I'm not very hard. And this is on the way to the fight. So I'm like, dang. I also. I don't I, feel oh, good. that was on your way to New York. Oh, oh, yeah. oh for the to actual fight with the, yeah. the actual yeah. fight. That that. That mental preparation is just insane. I love that you guys forgot. Bro, you <laughs> broke her down mentally. <laughs> like, oh, shit. We had, a straight, <laughs> we had a straight team meeting. We had a team meeting about, we had a complete team meeting about why is Rose feeling so negative? Like, why is, yo, man, this is not turning on. Like, what is going on with her? And Tony Ryan was like, oh, yeah, we're supposed to make her feel bad. Like, that was the get And Like, we, Trevor and I both paused, and we couldn't figure out what? Are you, oh yeah. <laughs> the game plan was was to build her up, but then we build her up way too much, so we had to break her down a little bit. And we to get her to work her again. Yeah. Just just something just because with when it comes to Rose, it's it's always mental. It's nothing. It's not the physical is always gonna be there, but it's it's always a mental training camp. And yeah, we had we dropped. That you had to so try to funny. keep it even. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have the potential to be the best. That was good. That was good. That's not enough. That was good. Doesn't feel good enough, right? Just right. That was the best. But or? it's just so funny. Like you trust your like your your, your mental state. You're like I'm going to put it in your hands, and you're like, yeah, my bad, I forgot. We, <laughs> we had you walking around like yes. Yeah, that's a delicate issue, man. You I can't apologize. Just be forgetting. Yeah. yeah, we fucked with your brain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I clapped sorry. and yelled. That was average. That was average. <laughs> yeah, we didn't mean to fuck with your brain like that. But right? I can't handle compliments. Like I don't like when people. 
whole like I guess I put you're my, not the best. That's an excellent point. <laughs> right. I, I, that's right. probably why. <laughs> but I would it would like if I was fighting and someone was yelling, you know, you do this, you're the best. I would be like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I don't I'm handle fine. compliments well. <laughs> How do you like? Are, are, how do you handle that? Like, are you comfortable with people telling you the best? I hate being told. Well, I'm she's very got a big, um, a big gold shiny thing that says that she actually is the best. Right. That, that is, a, yeah, that is a good point. She, she has one. I think um, the difference between this last fight and the one before that is that you know I had, like you said, I have the proof right here. Like, I don't need to, you know, uh, tell myself in order, like, so many times in order to just believe it in this kind of like, but is it real? You know, kind of thing. Um, the the first. The first title fight was was like that. Um, I had to just keep saying it until it became a reality. But this time it was is right here. So I don't. Um, and that was the fear of just being like not having to to earn that confidence. You know, I felt like, um, well, I already got it. So but I have to like not forget that I have to keep earning it and I have to keep, you know, and maintaining um, it. Yeah. yeah. Has that like are you able to kind of process that and be like, I'm the champ and I deserve to be the champ or are you sitting there like questioning like oh I don't know but I haven't fought this person under these circumstances and but you know what I mean yeah I think every every fight is um is a different fight and it's uh yeah it's always up for grabs so mm -hmm. every time you step in that cage is is 50 50 you know anything can happen now the target's on your back you know yeah. for a long time you're chasing something but right. now when you have it everyone is gunning for you that would destroy me it would oh my <laughs> yeah. god that would yeah. fuck me up so badly especially because yeah. i'm such like an introvert it's it's weird it's definitely um it, it, yeah. went, it went from uh, it went from uh you could see rose asking herself is she the best and questioning questioning herself uh even after the first fight it was still just the question of am i the best am i the best and then after the second fight it's turned into nope i'm the best I'm the I'm she's That's she's awesome. the, she's the best there is she, and she knows it she's the best there is now 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 it's up to us to convince her she's not the best and that she has to go and earn the belt again we write, right. we'll write it on the board this time that that's the game plan. We should put like a time limit on mm -hmm. when we should stop telling you that you're the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on this day. But then you got to no. set an iPhone reminder when you got to start telling her again. Because that, otherwise. Yeah, you'll just see, oh, Rose is best. Hey, you're the best. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah. it changed. All of a sudden you are. Did you guys yeah. go away after you won? Did you do anything fun, go on vacation, or did you go anywhere? We Not gardened. We, 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 uh, we planted our garden. That was cool. <laughs> We've had, we, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't vacationed yet. Yeah, not yet. yet. No, not why yet. not? Are you waiting for something or are you just, you haven't found, mm, you guys just... There's like, I just feel like right after the fight, there's so much like physically and mentally, emotionally, everything happening. And then you just need a second to process it. Plus we just like being home anyways. Um, Cause like, I don't know, it, taking away, like, I feel like vacation, you have to take a vacation after a vacation because you just spent all this energy going somewhere else that's not your place. And right. then, you know what I mean? Like, and we've been, we've seen so many cool places that the best place is, is home. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. like doing the garden? Yes, yes. man. Yes. <laughs> like, n n up until we started doing this one? No, of course not. I don't want to go outside. No, no, no. no. I loved it but the whole time, but this is, <laughs> my whole been, life. Man, we've been in dirt with worms and planting stuff lately. We've uh, we've built like a, a raised garden bed that we've got a a bunch of different things in right now, and it's um it's been yeah it's it, it's that's what we're looking forward to most about even being here in New York is we go home tomorrow and like today and. Tomorrow we get to get back into it. Uh, Rose, I wanted to ask you too. Do, do you not like being in New York? I know you said you were tempted do, when Con you were on. Were you on the bus when Connor did what he did? Mm -hmm. Were you? Was it, did it mess you up mentally? Where you thought you might not fight? How did that affect you? Um, I mean, you, you could just kind of tell by my performance. You know, everything that I said after in the po uh, press conference is kind of like you know that that was my feelings on the issue, and um, it just sucks because that's the question that's always going to be asked especially throughout the day you know and it's like look what i did you well know I, here's why i thought yeah. of it because you said you were getting in and out of new york uh we're going home tonight i'm wondering do you not like being in new york um i i think it's a uh, man every Don't time like i come here from home yes so it's anywhere anywhere you are yeah anywhere i am but uh Definitely, New York is probably I say is there. There's better, you know. I, I I think I like the Vegas is probably my favorite big city. But New York, I think every time I come here, it's super inspirational just because of how the city is even functions. Like every time I come here, I'm like, how does this place even work? Um, <laughs> but it's it been feels good easy, to sorry, me. it feels easy to kind of get mixed up and lost here. Like even yeah. living here, yeah. you're like, no one gives a fuck about me. It's like it's just right. a it's, place where I yeah. can it's fall over, to a sewer. No one cares. Yeah, it's it's a lot to take in here. Um, 
I think every time that I fought here, it's always been it's it's definitely like the perfect place to make a great story. So there's a lot of things to appreciate about it. But at the same time, it's also something that, um, you know, I was born in Milwaukee and, and there's just it's just like a big, you know, city. And it's definitely not not as big as this. And it's a big concrete jungle. And so. I kind of long and yearn for for the outdoors and stuff like that. So it's definitely not my natural, I guess, my place that I want to be. But at the same time, I also have a great appreciation for it. And there's a lot to be learned. And and it, this is a, a great place. And, and one, one of the things I love about New York is that it just has the feeling of there's there's always a great story to be told here. Yeah. Pat, yeah. When, when a disruption on that level happens, like right before a fight, do you, as like not only a partner, but a trainer, like do you sit there and be like, okay, I see what's happening here. It's my job to get Rose back into the mental state that right. she has to be because yeah. this is a severe disruption for any athlete. Instantly. Um, that's um, every time us, every time we, whenever we go anywhere for a fight, anytime some incident happens, that's the first thing that comes to mind is, all right, how are we going to get Rose? How How are we going to... Okay, what's the move now? Because as soon as that and as soon as that happened, of course, it was instantly we're leaving tonight, right? Like instantly, it was um, when uh, you know, just as as it was going on, that's the thought that was in my head was, this is this is ridiculous. How like not this is here? We made it here, and now this like so it's 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 automatically into. Um, it, like I said, it's, it's the mental, it's the mental side with Rose. That's always the, that's always not, not that's always the part that we're working on. So of course, as soon as that happened, it's not just Rose. It's, I wanted to leave. Sure, I don't want to be here either. Like this isn't the kind of party that I showed up for. Right. You know. So that's that's. And then you have to. I'm sure you start questioning the or- organization as a whole. Like, how can you allow this to happen to us? Right. Um, well, I mean, there's 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 a million different fingers that you can point in every different direction but we have to take we take responsibility for that right there and there for ourselves and what we have to do like right. what we, we're here for a mission of course everything He's in the world everything focus. everything in the world is going to try to distract rose from for, is going to try to distract us as a team from the mission at hand and yeah. and and um it's it's one of those <clears throat> Like, uh, the more you go down this way and the more things try to stop you, the more you know that that's the direction you're supposed to be going in. Because <laughs> right before it gets too, it gets hardest right before you end the, the board, the level on the game. Right? That's what they said in Batman. The night is the darkest before the dawn. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. So after that happens, you guys go back to the hotel. Which one of you is talking the other one down? Do you guys look at each other and go, okay, what are we going to do? Or does somebody else come in and... and like, how did you guys get yourselves back focused? Because that was right before the fight. I mean, two days before the fight. Well, we, we, we like I said, didn't we, really sleep. I mean, we didn't really talk much. We I talk, mean, we talked a little, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. I mean, it's just it's it's there's there there we we have a mission to accomplish. We're here we're here to do a job, and there's nothing that's can there's nothing that's going to there's most likely nothing that's going to stop us from from accomplishing our mission, and, so, that, and that's what it was. So yeah. as, as soon as it went down, it's like I said, it's, it's always it's always like that. It's always things things get they get they their maximum hard right before it's over. Like it gets the maximum toughness right before you break through to the next level. And this was just this was just another. Of course, this happened. Of course, this happened in order to shake Rose up, in order to throw Rose off her game, so that she wouldn't be able to accomplish the mission that her whole life has been set out to do. Whatever it is, and and that's that's what happened. It happened right there. It's like okay, th- we're no longer. This isn't a game. We are we're we're in for a fight. Are you guys so still becomes, in Milwaukee? Well, I was gonna say it becomes fuel mm-hmm. to the fire. Then yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah. it becomes like now it's now we're doing it. Mm. Not the, it, it, I there, guess, there, yeah, as, soon, like, as soon as it happened, we had more. We had, Rose had more of a reason to get her message out there in the world. Right. That's right. that. As soon as that happened, it said, "Okay, you know what? You are doing the right thing. You are on the right path because your message does have to get out there." And of course, evil in the world is going to try to stop Rose from 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 promoting goodness as much as she possibly right. can. Do you have people since you've won and you become higher profile? Do you find that people are coming out? Of the woodwork, like people you haven't seen in twenty years or fifteen years, uh, yeah. and sometimes people there's you don't want to see. There's a little bit of that, you know. But luckily, <clears throat> like I don't, <clears throat> I don't really read messages on social media that much. So, but that's where the majority of a lot of that stuff is. So, um, it's just like I just don't have time for that, man. I'm just <laughs> yeah. You probably save yourself a lot of headaches because it can be like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Like doing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You got to train it's harder. Just... You got to impress those little kids, right? Yeah. You don't have time for social I mean, media. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they can't let right. those kids laugh at you. 
It's, it's, yeah. me, it's me sending her messages so anyway. These are distractions, man. <laughs> it's it's uh, me commenting on all the videos anyway. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 10 different accounts are all saying nice shit. Right. I guess that's got to be part of it, though, right? That's part of the mental training is to get, I mean, social media in this day and age is a huge distraction for you guys, right? It really is. Um, it's it's a great tool, but man, it, and with any tool, it can be misused. And um, I think that, I don't know, just a lot of the just a lot of the content out there. There's so much quantity and not a lot of quality. So that's why it's like, man, I just it's just hard to and and it's still like it still traps me. That's another little trap. You know, I'll just be like, damn, what am I doing? Scrolling again. Delete the app. Like, <laughs> I've probably Instagram is probably the most deleted and uploaded app. <laughs> on my phone oh, you ever. spent too much time. Like, yeah, it's dude, hard. It's like, yeah, I just got to delete it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what do you what do you do after you win? The championship like what's like now all the hard work is paid off we were successful it's done like how do you celebrate how do you unwind eat <laughs> eat a lot <laughs> what do you eat uh shoot anything like any well first off any like lots of delivery because we we spent the first couple days locked in my bedroom like Weeks. with like super paranoid about everything like blind shut we uh we had like uh, pizza and and uh, delivery what sushi. What were you paranoid about? <laughs> delivery sushi. Well, you really are brave. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most um, uh, frightening thing yeah. you've said since yeah. you've been here. Delivery it's sushi. Really good. <laughs> delivery sushi. <laughs> it's UPS. <laughs> <laughs> Anything sushi. that I can get delivered to the house, I'm not want to leave. And yeah, I don't yeah, we leave. stayed we stayed inside for like two weeks, and yeah. we just got delivery. Delivery. Just sushi. because it's all so much all at once. Like, let mm -hmm. me just shut out or. Well, it's, well it, it's because of hearing <laughs> tires in the street go, and people wow. put their car in reverse and stopping. And just it. of it's how just, crazy the week was, it yeah. was very like, mm, yeah. I just got to feel safe for a second. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, while you're inside, <laughs> there's probably like, there's, not many things going to get thrown my, at you. My senses inside. were so heightened for so long and my adrenaline was taxed like, you know, double the amount that it should have been that like, wow. you know, the next, uh, you know, I needed to decompress and like, like seriously just eliminate all possible like, you know, uh, scenarios that could possibly. So that you know, adrenaline high is not hours, it's weeks. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we're still on it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like we're, you don't like some depending it. on the fight. You know, some some fights it's it's worse and sometimes it's better. Like uh, you know, certain fights. Like after the first fight with Joanna, I didn't sleep for probably a few days. Man, we, you know, like we, maybe we, three or four days. I barely slept. The, um, we just got over the knockout. Like we're like last week. <laughs> so we're yeah. we're on to the new fight now. Yeah. 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 Well, are you easily it's distracted? Just... Like, are, are you like, are you are you like your is your mental state when you feel right kind of fragile? Like this can throw me or that can um, throw me. When I'm right, no, nothing, nothing can. Nothing. Like I'm in my bubble. I barely even see anybody, you know. But this last one, I felt like I saw everybody. I was fe I was totally on manual and totally like um, not on autopilot. Like that's why I've, that's why I feel like sometimes it was on autopilot, and you know, you kind of just switch back and forth between the two gears, but. Almost the entire, you know, the almost like the majority of the fight was done manually and like the, making decisions like consciously. Is that versus, bad or good? That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. I mean, imagine. Yeah, I guess. Why would you it's, say? Well, it's, it's bad and good. It's, it's bad because, of course, you want a fight to be on autopilot, like the first fight where she was just zoned out completely. But then at the same time, <laughs> it's also good to not be on autopilot, to know that you can manually go through a fist fight. It's just a lot harder. Fight, that's to go all. Through a fist just, fight. The yeah. first fight, she was on another level. No one in the world would have been able to touch her that night. The second fight, she was very conscious the entire time. I mean, the UFC actually has... Do you know when that's on, happening? Like, just watching her? Yeah. Like, I yeah. know mm -hmm. that's... that's I, yeah. I even told him before, like, in the locker room, I was like... Uh, it's the, not turning on. The UFC has that <laughs> wow. on camera. And the he UFC. was like, oh, girl, don't. Don't worry Shut up. Don't worry. Oh, the autopilot isn't turning on? What yeah. do you do to turn it on? There's no, there's, it uh, well, just, it, it happens. When your training is right, when everything, I don't know, it's just. Sometimes man. it happens. Most times it happens, and sometimes and, it just doesn't. And you yeah, have to be like, that's why we got manual. That's why we got manual. Let's the, go. The, Let's you gotta go. work on both. The, the, the entire training camp was an autopod. This is this was a very tough training camp. Every day was a was a. I don't feel right. Every day throughout the entire training camp was something's just not right. It's not turning off. I don't feel fast. I don't feel strong. It was every day like that. So. Like I said, we, that's what started the building up, and then that's what consisted of the breaking down, and then we get all the way. The UFC has it on film, where she's pacing back and forth, and then she walks up to me, and she says, it's, just, it's not turning on, with the most scared look on her face. It's not turning Has on. Has that been released, that footage? 
It's, oh no! Have, I think have, what they uh, they have they have it they I have think it somewhere. That there's one clip where I saw where it was after where I told Trevor that it wasn't turning on man and he's like oh don't worry about it. like he hung me or whatever but the one that you were saying that talking about I haven't seen that footage. I thought I saw that, that clip. was before I, but I didn't see but oh. she says it's not turning on and have the look of I mean just to be to I have to I have to step out of a coach's role for a split second and I have to because it's very emotional for me sure to see Rose. Knowing that she's about to get into a fight, and just to see the look in her eye, man. I mean, total confidence, but at the same time, something's wrong. Something doesn't feel right. And it was right then and there at that moment that I had to fall into my own zone and say, hey, girl, <laughs> it ain't turned on the whole training camp. What do you, you've been on this entire time. Fuck on, man. You there just, was like a little bit, like you, I felt like towards the end of the training camp, that's when it, like, it, it, it was like, there was, there was, vroom, moment, like there was it, moments of it. It was like, vroom, so, but then, like, just that we, I think, like, after that, I, I, my adrenaline spike prior to, and then, so it just, like, that, that extra little, that you know, little adrenaline that I that you sh- was saving for the fight, it was okay that, you know, I'm running on some extra booster gears in the back. <laughs> but they don't <laughs> you know. know. That's the important yeah. thing to yeah, remember yeah. is that like, well, this, I've been times where I'm scared in front of yeah. a crowd. It's a different thing. I'm not going to get punched, right, but I mean, right. I'm scared you to might. perform and I'm afraid. Or But the cra- they don't know it. Right. So a lot of times I have to remember, like, whatever I'm feeling, they don't know it. So they're going to react to me as if and I'm feeling confident and great. Do, sometimes people, certain people do know, you know. Sure. Um, you know, certain people like even Heidi uh, Dean from the UFC like she's like oh Ro- uh, she calls it rose mode you know like uh, like during fight week I kind of just get really quiet I don't talk to nobody like because I don't see nobody like it's just I'm just in my zone and um, I don't know if she like she didn't say anything about rose mode this time but I'm I'm wondering every, if she probably knew was, that I wasn't in rose was, mode everybody was saying it yeah. and you didn't see it everybody's saying when you didn't look like as you walk through, everybody's like, oh, that's the champ. But as you walk past and weren't looking anymore, they all look over at me like, man, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's shivering. Oh, yeah. So yeah. And you know, it's just, it, and, and every fight's different. So you can't be like, you know, I don't know. You don't know. You never know for sure until it act- the moment of truth, right? But but there's little there's little feelings of like, but when uh, you, there's when, so many variables that go into it. When you win a championship fight while you're off, Afterwards, are you going like, holy shit, I'm indestructible. Like, I can't, um, and now I know I can't be But, like, you know, yes, it's a very uh, it's a very gratifying feeling. But at the same time, it's like, man, I, I, I feel like I could have did better, though. You know, it's like it's a double edged sword. And and um, and, and there's only so many fights where where you can do that for, you know, like to have a five round war. Like, man, that takes a toll on your body and your mind and, and spirit. So it's like, man, I was, you know, that I don't know. It's 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 a double edged sword. Basically, it's very yeah. gratifying, but at the same time, it's also like, dang, I'm I'm the highest percentage finish like rate in the strawweight division. Like I'm a finisher. Like to not finish a fight, it's it's like, I don't know. I felt like, damn, that got away from me. You know, like so. At the same time, uh, but I, yes, I'm very grateful for it. You know, I, I like it was a very it was a it was a huge accomplishment for me. But it's just something about something about finishing fights. Great you, too. You need, you, you need fights like that. You need you need fights where everything doesn't necessarily go your way and you have to manually fight this person because it takes a it, after a while fighting becomes uninteresting in the middle of a fight like you can oh man this is how many more yeah. rounds Three? at the same time yeah like, like the, uh, i don't mean to cut you off but and then the other the other there, there's a lot of things that are very gratifying about it though like you know, leading up to the fight mike Mike Brown said, you know, we want to see what happens in a five round fight and the true champion wins in a five round fight. And that's what happened. So a part of me, even like throughout the training camp, I was like, man, I really want to like get a rear naked choke because that's my favorite submission. But at the same time, part of the, you know, hearing him say five round fight and real true champion go five rounds. All right, I'll go five rounds too. Whatever, you know. Is it so hard I to let go? Of my, you know, what's up? Sorry, when you're choking somebody, rear naked. Is it hard to let go? It seems like it'd be so much fun just to um, choke somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it before. It just seems like it, it's hard to no, let go. No, it's it. At once, you, like you, your whole body is like just like waiting for the tap. Come on, just tap, tap, tap. You know. So, so when you feel that, it's. But as you're squeezed, I don't know. It's it's hard to describe. It's definitely like one of the most. I'd say is. I don't know. I feel like it's better than a knockout because you feel like it's like the ultimate feeling of control when you when you 
fully dominated somebody. Like if you if you rear naked choke somebody, they've made so many mistakes prior to. You, you know, if you submit somebody, period. Like you can knock, you can kick someone in the head, and knock them out, and everybody thinks that that's. Have the you best. just kicked people in the head, and knocked them out? A lot. That's not so great. <laughs> <laughs> it does <laughs> feel great, but like it, like the knowing of mentally, it, I feel it, like it's it does really feel great. It, and, and to know that yeah. I can like, but but to jump in the to punch someone in the head, and knock them out, they could want to continue fighting, but they just can't they because caught, their brains yeah. all scrambled. To make someone quit, that's the ultimate. That's a, that's, that's right. That's a conscious decision. That's the right. Where they're like, okay, I'm being fucking strangled. I can't stop this. Uh, and, and they're giving I themselves to. to I guess up. so. Yeah, I choose yeah. to give up. I choose up. to give up. I'm choosing like a body to quit. shot or a, a low body kick, shot, you know? a low kick finish, a body shot finish, or a submission. And you, there's no you, getting lucky. There's no lucky. No, like, no. oh yeah, I, I, you nope. got one strike in, and you happen nope. to win you, this one. You, like, you, no. If, mm-hmm. if 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 you tap, you quit. That's just another word. Nobody likes hearing that, mm-hmm. but it's the truth. If you lose a fight to a low kick, you quit to low kicks. If you lose a fight to a body shot because you didn't get up, you were conscious the entire time. You chose not to get up. Now I totally get that. Getting punched in the stomach sometimes can make you. F- Oh yeah, your a brain completely scrambled. Feeling. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and where you really uh-uh. do think you're dying, but it's still a choice. As long as you're awake, it's still a choice. So, so rear naked choking someone is way better than high kicking someone because you know that not they they quit on you. I made you give up. I made you quit. I yeah, I guess so. Quit. As opposed to an involuntary thing where you went to sleep on the floor. Right. Although mm-hmm. I'd still take a head kick in the one. I would like. I to mean, do it, once. yeah. Physically, I think it's just because <laughs> like when it when it happens, you barely even feel it. Like you know, like I don't know, just you don't like it. Man, you, you just wake everything up. fires up in your whole body, so it's like that physical feeling. But but I think um it's, it just happens so fast that you're not really you know, conscious of, of, for it. Like, f- for me, at least, like, when I landed a head kick on uh, Michelle, like, I kind of blanked out, like, the the couple seconds prior to it landing. Even though I saw it, and, like, saw it happen, I didn't feel it happen. So it just kind of, I don't know. Do you think that the, mm-hmm. the mental stress of this stuff is talked about enough? Because, I mean, and I just thought of it just based on what we're talking about today, because, like, Rhonda Rousey, for example, she said, what, like, a week ago, she finally talked about how she had cried like for like two mm-hmm. years straight after dealing with her losses and clearly, you know, doesn't really like talking about him to this day. And, you know, when an outsider sees that, it's like, what's the big deal? Like when you lose, but like talking to you guys, it's like there's a lot, yeah. clearly a lot more to it than that. I think that L- losing, losing in the UFC and yeah, losing sucks, but losing in the UFC on the highest, like it's just a different level of like when you when you climb the ladder so fast like the way she did and then like to fall from that high that's that's tough i would think i would just imagine i don't know i'm not in her shoes but i just would imagine that's gotta be tough that's that's any and every fighter though losing sucks losing you feel like indestructible losing losing when you're in the ufc means that you're losing against one of the greatest fighters on the planet at that point in time and if you lose it then that should be all right but losing sucks man but if you but the the thing some fighters can rebound and and fight again and other fighters it's like it defines who you are yeah Yeah, and then all of a sudden wow who i am has been removed that's why you gotta have things outside you know that's why it it, is is great as as this is that's why i say this is extra this is i don't you, you got that I garden. Want, yeah exactly <laughs> and you i have, have dance. other things we that make things. you happy you know <laughs> right <laughs> you know dancing's fun too but uh, <laughs> um yeah you just gotta it, it's gotta be a healthy relationship this that's why i say this is like a having a relationship with somebody right like you gotta have a healthy curiosity to know that you're the best not this like need to know that you're the best because at some point you know somebody's gonna be better than me you know i know that like everybody's got a time limit everybody is you know we're all we're all the same we're all human so um and we all can achieve different things and we're all unique but at the end of the day we all have flaws and and so to me it's it's to know that you're not perfect and that's okay and yeah. that's a nice little garden Soft outside. Of the garden. Your lives yeah. are very different than <laughs> yeah. mine. Sometimes you, just li- you listen to people talking; like their existence is completely the opposite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, but that seems like and a nice thing. And that's why I say we're all unique. But at yeah. the same time, we're all we all like we all have flaws. We all have like. Jim whatever. uses fertilizer for different reasons. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I talk to it. Just, just as uh, just a last little bit to throw in, but. Uh, also, that fight was that was the best Ioana ever. Mm. Yes, what? Yeah, we've watched the fight. This is what we do after the fight. We go home and we watch it over and over again. So the, the pay per view points are going up because I keep buying. It. <laughs> like they, they, I keep buying it. And, and and if anyone out there who's gonna watch it again, watch the fight. Watch it again and just watch Ioana. Don't watch Rose. 
Watch yeah. Iwana and then try to imagine who the hell could have survived five rounds of that. Because Especially after was, how, like after a loss like that, you know. So for her to come back is that's she, pretty commendable, I think. You know, was, I mean, she's still out there just. You know, she did being crazy the, or whatever and talking crap. Yeah, she like, said she won, yeah. Pres- yeah, you know, did, you got to give her credit, though. That was, like, close to the impossible. It was one of those things that, I mean, to, to fall off the top of the ladder the way that she did and to go back and reinvent herself and to come back, usually after something like that, they come back and they're never the same again. She came back and she wasn't the same. She was more ferocious. Like, that, that's very, very unique That's hard to do. That's why she was the, the reigning champ for oh so long, because she was able to take a knockout, go back, change some things up, and come back even more ferocious than she was previous to that knockout. Like, that's why Joanna is one of the greatest of all time. How is, and, and how have you been, uh, we have to wrap up shortly because we have, uh, I know you guys have a limit and we have a guest. We, what, uh, how about sponsorships and stuff like that? Uh, that's been coming to you kind of, uh, or no? A um, little bit here and there. We're, we're in talks with some people, you know, but it's, I mean. Do you want more of it? Is it something that money? You're... Yes, <laughs> money. <Yeah. laughs> but all the great. responsibility. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just Do I don't you... know. We were talking about social media before. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Do you get offended when uh, people decide to make photoshops? either placing your head on Jim Norton's body or Jim <laughs> yes. Norton's head on your body. No, that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, everybody, like, kind of makes jokes about, like, Trevor and I, my coach, my boxing coach, like, looking the same because we got the same haircut. We both, like, kind of shaped the same. So, yes, yeah, I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> yeah. Have, I, you seen the, have you seen the Rose Norton? Uh, yes, I'm always <laughs> happy with the results. I imagine she would be. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that's about right. Yeah, I, I always feel like I, I, I look a lot better. So you do kind of, uh, you, you want some more if they come along, yeah. I mean, it's probably nice to have the extra. Are you gonna write a book? Why don't you write a book? Because you're, I've talked to you I've, many times. Your your life story is interesting. Yeah, I've thought about it. Um, you know, I keep a journal, so I try and you know keep uh, keep note of like interesting things that happen. Like, there's so many little things that happen throughout like our trips and days that are just ridiculous. And so, you know, I try and uh, I think I'm gonna work on that. Yeah, yeah. You, or, or send someone over. Whoever wants to write a book, let's do it. I'll, I'll yeah. tell a story. There's ways to do it where you get a guy who, yeah. who who you talk to, or you talk it into a recorder, and they put it together, and it's your story. There are yeah. guys that do that. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah you should. I, I mean, there's a there's a video that just came out, uh, Rose. I mean, it's the journey or something like that on YouTube. That's like a it's minutes. like a little mini documentary. Yeah, it's like a long. 50 minute video it's and it, it's it's great and it talks about our really it tar- starts off with pat's career and then it kind of goes into mine halfway through and it's it's amazing it's amazing well you're you guys did a video where you did was that habitats for humanity where you went over you did something where you oh, went indonesia? over indonesia yeah. yeah and you had cut your hand and i'm like that's that's what these guys do they yeah. like to just go out and build houses for poor people yeah uh, it definitely is it was really, you know, fun time. I mean, it was it was very difficult, but very rewarding. And like I said, it was definitely not not my place. You know, I don't know if I if I want to go back necessarily anytime soon. But um, it was like I said, it's another <laughs> great story, great like learning experience. And, yes, you're yeah. a nicer person than I am. You don't do habitat for humanity. <laughs> I certainly don't. I sit in first class, and I have people thrown out who come up to use the bathroom. <laughs> Talk about first yeah. class when we were. Oh, when and we, somebody did get thrown recently, out. We were, we were getting on a plane. Where were we coming from? Uh, was Vegas. that Vegas? We're getting on a plane, and as yeah. we start walking through first class, this guy, this kid goes, Doug Rose! And then her, his dad turns around and goes, holy shit, it's Doug Rose! And he starts flipping out, and he says he's from Denver, and he saw us at a Vietnamese place once. I saw you with Shevchenko at Saigon <laughs> Basil, and I didn't talk because I didn't. I wanted to be respectful, but I'm not going to be respectful this time. And he starts <laughs> flipping out. He's flipping out. He's like, oh my God, he's you're the best friend. I love you too. so much. Yeah. And this guy behind him goes, who the hell is Thug Rose? And he points to the guy. And he's like, and that's Von Miller right there. <laughs> and the guy turns around and says, who the fuck is Von Miller? That's Thug Rose, Colorado's like first champ. the true champ. champion. The true champ. The pilot came back and put him off the plane. And he said, I'll go graciously. I'll go. I don't, he's like, I'll, I'll go, go. I don't care. I'll go. This I is don't post- care. <laughs> Threw him off the plane? Put him off the plane. Yeah. Because like, he, he was too excited to was... see Thug Rose. And fair enough. And plus, you know, if you're in coach and you make eye contact with a person in first, you, don't like that. you should be dismissed. I see. You should <laughs> be thrown off the plane. You I paid see. good money for that seat. You don't <laughs> need them looking at you. No, wait, wait, wait. It was the other way around. He was in first class. We were in coach. Oh, my apologies. Right. They booted the guy off the Aww. plane for stopping you as you were walking out. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah. He was just too excited. Because we kept walking, but he just kept on going. That's too much. You don't know much. who that is? Yeah. That's Colorado's oh. first UFC champion. And a guy turns around and goes, who is what? That's Von Miller right there. And, and he turned, he, who the hell is Von Miller? And it Miller? happened all so quickly that, yeah. like, I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to react to it. I wish I could go back in time. It, like, 
you know, just you man, like, let me talk to this man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Oh, we'll, they just rushed you into the back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll some guy was trying to Denver. pass. Yeah. We'll see him again. There was uh, a there was a comedian that didn't want people in in that sit and coach in first class. So they had to rush him to the back. Oh wow. That was you. <laughs> it probably was. Yeah. Yes. 